So you're having a great day, you're trading outside on your balcony and you wanna walk away, right? You do not wanna min max your stop. There is a special type of stop that will allow you to do just that. And it's something that I use all the time. It is called a trailing stop. And a trailing stop is a stop that's not set at a fixed price. It'll actually follow you. And so when you're walking around and going and living your life as a day trader, you don't need to have your charts following you around all day. Let's go ahead into my office and take a look on how we can set up a trailing stop in TradingView. Now, tons of other brokers have this capability, so you'll want to investigate how to do it and whatever tools you use. We're gonna use TradingView because that's what I use on stream and it's what a lot of other people use, but the underlying fundamentals are the same. Let's hop inside, take a look. All right, so change of plans. We're gonna do this in Ninja. It is the same. Because the market's not open right now, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how it works in Ninja Trader. You can do this on any other broker, but I wanted to get this video done and give you guys a working example. So it's still a good way to do this because if you're using Replicano, like I've often recommended, that's obviously paired with Ninja Trader you get it. So we're still in the same ecosystem. Let's hop on over to the charts. Awesome. So first and foremost, <laughs> I'm trading in a quant VPS virtual private server. So what's really cool about a VPS is that I don't have to be signed in on my main computer. This is actually a Windows machine running in their cloud. It's super close to the actual exchange. The speed is very, very fast. You can see here, I signed into my small live account here. It's currently at 4,600. I haven't reset it yet for the week. I'm gonna withdraw that money, put it, reset it down to 3,000, but that's separate from this video. So. What's cool about this is I can log into all these other firms. You can see I have a bunch of other firms connected here. You can copy trade to them and set that up. That's not the point of this video. So what we're going to do is we are going to just uh, set up a trailing stop. So the way that you do this is you go to an account window, right? A chart. This is how I usually do it. There's probably another way to do it. Go to a chart and then go to the ATM strategy tab here. Go to custom and this is how you're going to set this up. So. Basically what I wanna do is, let's set our order quantity to just one. Okay, I'm on M and Q, but we'll still set it to one. We'll use ticks. Okay, you could use percent, price, pips, it doesn't matter. We'll use ticks. Okay, four ticks is a point. Keep that in mind, write this down. Four ticks is one point. Keep it very, very simple. Okay, so now our target uh, is gonna be the amount that we go for, or sorry, target one is this whole kind of row here. Okay, so the profit is how many ticks in profit we want the bracket to be. So this whole form is actually to set up a bracket with a, once you once you use this strategy, we'll give it a name, it's going to set a tick profit and a stop, okay? So let's just do four ticks is one point and I'm gonna go for 10 points. So we'll go for 40 ticks and we wanna risk, maybe you wanna do four times five, which is 20, okay? So we'll risk five points to go for 10, okay? very small, it's whatever. Actually, let's make these number bigger. So let's go for 100 and we'll do it like that, okay? Let's do times 10, make it easy. Stop strategy. So if we do none, this is just going to be a simple bracket. So we'll just call this example one, hit save, and okay. So if I go to example one, and if I hit buy market, it's not gonna work because the market is closed. But what this would do essentially is that this would put a bracket on with those parameters. So what I can do is I can make another one. Let's go to custom, okay? And I wanna set up a trail. Now a trailing stop is a stop that follows the bid ask, okay? Said okay, okay. Let's actually swap over to trading view really quickly. Get this in the recording area just for this example. So imagine if on the chart we have a, let's go to replay trading and we'll log out. Let's log into, let's just do some replay trading here, okay? So let's pick a bar, let's go back to like this point here, okay? And let's say we go with sell. So I sell here Right, we're gonna step forward by 10 minutes, okay? And let's say I put my stop loss right here, okay? So as we go into profit, what I'm basically going to do is 
I want a strategy that will follow me. Okay, it will follow me. And as the market continues to go down, okay, the market will follow. We'll do that one more time to kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, go to bar replay. This is a really good example of where you might want to do this. So we'll go short. Let's increment by one minute. Give ourselves a little bit more time to do the example here. So we'll put our stop at the high here. Okay, and once we get a little bit in profit, I want to start maybe once I get to this price here. Okay, 63.18, I want to move my stop to about halfway, okay? So let's do that. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. We get a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Okay, so now I want to move my stop to here. I am trailing it. So this is a manual trail. This is how you would do this without the built-in trail in NinjaTrader, okay? So as the market goes a little bit more, okay, I'm going to trail it, okay? As the market goes a little bit more, I'm gonna trail it, okay? So my stop is following the price action. And what this allows me to do is if the market goes against me, okay, if the market suddenly goes against me, okay, I've locked in, okay, this $1,050, okay? So the market goes a little bit more, a little bit more, and I'll put my stop right here. Okay, now eventually, okay, we get stopped out. And you can see how that stop then essentially becomes a, another version of a take profit order. So let's go back on over to our VM here and let's set this up. So we're gonna do a custom strategy, okay? Actually, let's just go to our example one and we'll hit edit. Okay, so we're gonna change the strategy. So what we're gonna do here for our stop strategy is we're gonna do a custom stop strategy, okay? Now, what we wanna do is our profit trigger there's an auto break even, and then you can also set up an auto trail. So we're not gonna focus on the auto break even. Actually, we'll do it, we'll do a bonus. The video wasn't about this, we'll do a bonus. So let's just say we have a 400 point, or 400 ticks auto break even. So once we get to 100, okay, it'll, it's going to do a, a break even stop for me uh, once we get to 100 ticks. Now for our trail, we're gonna do a one step trail. Okay, now our stop loss, okay, for our trail is going to come in after 50 ticks okay 50 ticks and it's going to trail by 40 ticks okay actually let's do four times 10 40 and let's do four times 20 is 80. Okay, let's just do that okay ignore this for now this is, imagine we never did the auto break even we're not worried about break even stops so what this is going to do is that once we get to 80 ticks, okay, 80 ticks, ignore the points of the values, just imagine 80 ticks, it could be 80 points, it could be 80%, it really doesn't matter. Once we get to this 80 value, it's going to trail, it's gonna put a stop behind us by 40. It could be 40 ticks, 40 points, whatever it is. And that's going to follow the market, okay? That's how it works, okay? so. We go back to our example, okay, on trading view. Let us change this to, let's go back in time, okay. But the example is really, really useful. So I'm gonna put a stop here, okay. And once we get to, let's say 800 instead of 80, we're going to trail by, what was the other value that we said? We'll trail by 400, okay. So once we get to 800, trail by 400. Okay, so let's wait till we get there. There's three, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll trail by, okay, 400. Now, the trail is gonna be 400 from, okay, this price. It's not 400 from what your entry, it's 400 from this price here. Okay, so 400 in this case on ES is gonna be, really can't do math here. 400 divided by 50, for somebody who can do it, it's gonna be eight points. So we need an eight point trail, so I'm off a little bit. So eight points puts us right here. Okay, so I should trail by that, okay? So by trailing $400 behind the current price, I will lock in $600 from my entry. That's how a trail works. And as this advances, okay, 
We'll move this up to see where our trail should be. And you can see that it's trailing $400 behind this, which gives me $1,000 profit locked in. Go a little bit further. Okay, move our little trail up to here. You can see it's trailing behind by that amount. Okay, and then eventually it will tag us out, right? eventually right obviously this would keep updating or following the market and we got trailed out so but it would follow throughout the life of that full trade so if we go back here just hit okay we hit save and it's after 80 trail 40 okay give it a name hit save hit okay boom and boom okay so that's set up. Whenever I enter into a trade, I can't show you here right now. You just need to make sure that you have your ATM strategy set up here, right? So let's do the, whoops. Let's select the example one, hit edit. Let's make sure that my trail after trade eight, after 80 trail 40, okay, hit save as template. So example one with trail. So now I'm saving both of them together. Okay, so whenever I enter a trade, whatever strategy is here in the ATM box will get applied on my bracket. So if I do a buy market on the long side, it's gonna enter in all of the parameters here for the bracket order and the trail. If I hit sell market, it'll do it on that side. If I do a limit order, okay, it'll do the same thing, right? If I put a buy limit down here, okay, down here, when it gets tagged in, it will apply this bracket. So that's a quick rundown on how trails work and how to set it up in Ninja. Now, obviously everyone doesn't use Ninja Trader. There are a billion different trading tools out there. You can also manually trail. Trailing is just a good strategy overall. A simple rule of thumb that I do, and you'll hear me say this in my Discord community, which you should totally join by the way, uh, Trade Edge. Okay, we are focused on trading the volume profile edges. It is the exact system that made me a seven figure trader. Okay, if you wanna expedite your progress to profitability, definitely come join us. We love teaching, at least I do. I love teaching. It's the only reason I do this because trust me, I'm busy enough not to. Um, but there are plenty of tools out there. So do your homework. The rule of thumb that I use is after 70% of the EV, 60 to 70, and you have to do it subjective around market structure. That's where I start to trail. You don't want to trail early around 20 to 30% because you're very likely will get tagged out, right? Most traders, I don't have hard data on this. It's just an anecdotal after reviewing a lot of people of people's trades. A lot of people enter around consolidation because they haven't figured out how to improve their entry model. And if you enter around consolidation, that means that the market will, you know, retest price areas and very often where you get in will get retested. And so if you trail too early or do a break even stop too early before you hit 60% of your EV, it's very, very likely that you'll get stopped out and you will have a false sense of good risk management, which is not what you want. Okay, you want actual good risk management. And more importantly, you want to actually give your trades the space that they need to breathe so that you can fully test out your idea and see how they work. Nonetheless, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Let me know what else you wanna know how to do in the markets. I haven't done a very simple video like this in a while, but I was asked in DM to do this. So I went ahead and whipped it up. Happy to do so. I'm here to help. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Peace.